We are now back after two years, almost in a day, with a 0.9% increase in the markets from where we were two years ago. So here's what you need to know before the bell. So good news, bad news. Um, on Friday, good news, of course, on Friday, markets registered a new all-time high. So again, this has gotten everybody very excited here. Markets are pointing higher this morning. Again, not surprising once you set a new all-time high you're likely going to repeat that here because you just get a lot of momentum going. And we've had a lot of momentum in this market really ever since those uh, November, kind of those October lows from last year. Um, market's still doing very well here. Um, now, here's the interesting point. <laughs> you know, a lot of people talk about, well, you know, just buy and hold an S&P 500 index. That's fine. But here's the issue with that. We are now back after two years, almost to the day, a little bit longer, but with a 0.9% increase in the markets from where we were two years ago. So yes, while we've had a tremendous rally really from the lows of October of 2022, um, markets have done very well here, um, but we are just been spending a lot of time getting back to even on a buy and hold basis. So now the bad news, of course, is if you, if you were needing 6% a year, there's still 12% we still have to make up from here. So we just now got back to making money after two years, but nonetheless, Markets are registering new highs. New highs tend to beget new highs. Um, the question is, is how much higher are we going to go? And again, we have to, at some point, begin to talk about fundamentals, uh, valuations, et cetera. But at least right now, none of that's, uh, that's kind of all in the rear view mirror. Uh, we still are running a, a uh, MACD uh, sell signal very, very high. That's about to flip back to a buy signal. The problem with that is that you're flipping back to a buy signal at a fairly high level, which that can occur. And we saw this previously back in June and July. Market was making an advance. We had a sell signal early. Uh, market flipped back to a buy signal from a high level. The market rallied some more. Not a huge rally, but then we got the next sell signal and you had that 10% correction. We're likely going to be set up for some, some event like that because we've had a very, very strong rally here ever since November lows. And again, this could last for another month or two. But again, we kind of flip back to a buy signal here. We're already back to overbought conditions again. So that little bit of work off of that overbought condition has already been reversed. So we're moving back into overbought conditions very quickly. You've got a very high level MACD at this point. Suggests that yes, upside here is likely going to continue at least for the next could be next week, next couple of weeks, next month, particularly as we have earnings coming in, that's likely going to support this because we'll have companies coming in, they're beating estimates, even though they're lowered, but it's good news. So markets kind of grind their way higher. But then after that, we're likely going to be set up here for another leg of a, a consolidation or a correction over a period of time. So again, doesn't mean you shouldn't take advantage of this. Yes, you know, right now, increase some equity exposure. We're breaking out. Uh, if we get a good confirmation of this breakout over the next day or two, in other words, the markets hold it this week, no reason not to increase some equity exposure here near term as markets continue to rally up here a bit. Kind of, again, it's momentum, it's excitement. Once you kind of break out to new highs, that tends to beget new highs. So go ahead and participate with that, but be a little bit cautious here. Just realize markets are very overbought and you're going to get some type of correction at some point, which will give you a better opportunity to further increase exposure then. So again, a little bit of trading here. You can take some uh, advantage of this but don't forget to sell some along the way as well. Uh, take some profits as we get there. Uh, that's what you need to know before the bell this morning.